The clients first approached our office looking to build a small, sustainable home on a vacant property in Balnearing. They were after a home that was energy efficient, had excellent passive solar qualities, was modern but also modest in size and its construction expense. When analysing the site, it was apparent the front of the property had wonderful opportunity in its wide 29 metre frontage, northern aspect, topography conditions and existing vegetation. We decided to position the heart of the house, including the kitchen, living and dining, at the front of the property. These open to a northern yard, which although has a close street presence, maintains a level of enclosure through natural elements of raised gardens, shrubs, trees and retaining walls. This courtyard house design most importantly allows all habitable rooms to have north solar access. It encourages multiple windows on either side of the room to provide cross ventilation. The southern wing is separated by a sliding door and zoned heating, ensuring only the rooms being used are heated and cooled. The central courtyard is the connection space between the north, south and west wing and workshop. It provides shelter, privacy and an arrival point. In this design, one of the major considerations was privacy. The solution was to utilise natural elements such as the native landscape, and raised garden areas to shelter the building. As the client's forever home, it was of the utmost importance that it embodied sustainable design principles to minimise the client's energy bills, optimise future energy saving technologies and contribute in a positive and sustainable manner to its environment. Our clients were ambitious in their desire to use reverse brick construction for most of the external walls. This method of construction installs the brickwork on the inside skin of the wall with the stud frame and cladding external. Not only does it create a beautiful internal aesthetic, it also allows the mass brickwork to better moderate the internal temperatures. Solar control is one of the simplest yet effective strategies to moderate the internal temperature of the building. In this project, the north facing roof eaves have been calculated so the depth prevents the steep summer sun from entering while the lower winter sun can still pass through, heating the thermally insulated slab. The thermal mass in the floor stores solar heat and releases it later in the day. Window and door locations have been carefully selected to maximise cross ventilation and prevent west facing glazing. A simple pallet of corrugated steel and timber cladding are used in response to the surrounding coastal context. Corrugated iron has been selected for external walls that face harsh weather conditions, predominantly from the south and west. The colour bond finish of the cladding requires no maintenance and will have great longevity. Spotted gum timber has been selected to soften the facade and provide a warm aesthetic that contrasts the tough corrugated iron steel. Offcuts from the spotted gum timber facade have been reused for timber joinery such as the bookshelf. Recycled clinker bricks are beautifully exposed internally, creating texture and pattern through the repetition of reds and blues. Blending in with the densely vegetated site, the structure's corrugated iron and timber cladding reference the Australian coastal vernacular. This home is an expression of the modern skillion shed, simple in form and modest to its environment.